Hi, Artemis Paint here. Trading current scores is a popular method. In this video, I'll explain how the current scores change in a football match when the two teams are equally matched. This video is not meant as a system. It's just meant to describe how odds change throughout a football match. So I'm not talking about odds on favourites in this video, video just a slight favourite. Um, for example, in this match between Arsenal and Liverpool, the odds are as follows. Um, Liverpool 2.2, draw 3.5, Arsenal 3.6. And you should note that in this example, the favourite is not odds on and the draw and Arsenal have similar odds. In this video, I'll use the phrases current scores and con connecting scores to refer to the following. The current score is the score at any moment in time. So when no goals are scored, the current score is nil-nil. And the connecting scores are the next possible scores should either side score a goal. So when no goals have been scored, the connecting scores are one nil and nil one. So when no goals are scored, the correct scores are nil nil, one nil and nil one alter similarly to when the teams are closely matched. If a goal isn't scored, the odds on nil nil, one nil and nil one will progressively reduce up until around the sixty fifth minute of the match. At around the sixty fifth minute, the odds of the current score, which in this case is nil nil, will reduce and all the other scores, including 1-0 and 0-1, will start to move out. So once a goal is scored, 0-0 and one of the one-goal score lines will be finished. The new current score will be 1-0 or 0-1. The change in the odds of the new current score will depend on the time that the goal was scored and the amount of anticipated action in the game. It doesn't make much difference whether the favourite or the outsider takes the lead in the match. The odds on 1-0 and 0-1 will move in a similar direction. The odds for 1-0 uh, and 0-1 will be different before the goal scored. Uh, the favourite will have all shorter odds compared to the underdog. After an early goal, you'll find increased odds for 1-0 followed by a decline. In high action matches, the first goal is scored. If the first goal is scored during the, um, the first 15 minutes, the odds of 1 0 will increase. This is because in high action games, the market will be anticipating more goals. If the game has had a lot of action, the first goal can result in an increase of the odds of 1 0 up to the 50th minute of the game. With low action matches, the odds will decrease for 1-0 if the goal is scored around the 20th minute or later. The market, in, in this case, the market will be expecting the leading side to defend their lead while the trailing side will try to equalise. As such, the next scoreline of one all is more likely than 2-0. So here's a summary table of the effects of the first goal on the odds of 1-0. So a more interesting score in these kinds of matches where you have a favourite and an underdog is 1-all. So let's have a look at how 1-all changes um, when, a goal's, when a goal's scored. So if no goals are scored, the odds for the correct score 1-all will remain steady for a, around 25 minutes of the match. After the, around 25 minutes, the odds of one all will gradually start to drift. So this is a summary table of the odds of one all after a goal is scored. The arrows represent whether the odds of one all are likely to shorten from its odds pre-match. As I said, if there's no goal, the odds for one all will start to drift from around the 25th minute. So after a goal is scored, the odds for one all will usually shorten from its drifted odds. 
However, it's of interest uh, to know whether the odds drop below the odds at kickoff. So, if the first goal is scored in the first 15 minutes of the match, the direction in which the odds of one all will change depends on whether the favourite or the underdog scored the goal. So, let's talk about the favourite first. If the first goal was scored by the favourite in the first 15 minutes of the match, the odds of one all will become longer. The odds reflect the fact that the market's anticipating more goals. It's also more likely that the favourite will score a second goal compared to the underdog scoring an equaliser. If the favourite scores the first goal between the 16th and the 30th minute of the match, the odds of one all probably won't move much. And if the favourite scores closer to half-time or early in the second half, the odds for one all will shorten. This is because if there's only one goal in the first half, the market will not be expecting a lot of goals. Therefore, the most likely scores will be the current score and the connecting scores of 2-0 and one all. So, let's look at what happens when the underdog scores the first goal. Well, if the underdog scores the first goal in the first 15 minutes the odds for one all are likely to decrease. In this case, the expectation of the market is that the favourite will score the next goal. If the underdog scores the first goal between the 15th and the 65th minute of the ma- uh, match, the odds of what the one all draw will reduce significantly. So, all other correct scores... Um, it's it's very similar to uh, when the teams are closely matched. Excluding the current and connect- connected scores, the odds of all other cur- current scores will move out from the start of the match. When the first goal is scored, the odds of the new current score and new connecting scores will shorten. The other score l- lines will also come in, And the strength of this change is dependent on whether the favourite or the underdog scored the first goal. If we look at the connecting score lines, the movement of odds will reflect the the fact that the team that started favourite in the match will usually be favourite to score the next goal. For example, if the favourite scores the first goal, the score will be 1-0. The new connecting scores will be 2-0 and 1-all. However, if the underdog scores the first goal, the new connecting scores will be 0-2 and 1-all. And in these cases, both score lines will shorten. However, the score line where the favourite scores the next goal will shorten by a greater amount. If there's a large difference in the odds of the two teams, it may seem more difficult to trade. In a lot of cases, you can lose money if the wrong side scores a goal. It helps if you know a bit about football and uh, the stats. However, there are periods of the match where the odds move in the same direction should there be a goal, and these may be the areas to focus on. So that's all for this video, and please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this.